sister James Charles is back to making content. He just came back with his brand new video, Hi Sisters. And something that James Charles is going to struggle with is major trust issues. And I know a lot of us can relate to that. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take different topics from the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And while you're at it, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. So real quick, real quick for all of you loyal Rewired Soldiers out there, you all know that I'm working on my new book, Rewire Your Anxiety, which is dropping on June 29th in the ebook format. Well, I'm also doing the audio book. So do me a favor, because I'm trying to organize and strategize some things. Let me know down in the comments if you're getting a copy of Rewire Your Anxiety. Let me know if you're planning on the ebook or the audiobook, all right? It'll help me kind of plan some things out in the coming weeks, all right? Thank you, you're amazing, okay? But anyways, yeah, let's talk about James Charles. Um, and again, like if you're new to my channel, this video isn't necessarily about James Charles. I just like to use YouTubers and things going on in pop culture as context, but my videos are for you, okay? So let's recap what is going on with James Charles, what happened with James Charles. So he had all of that drama happen with Tati Westbrook and she kind of, you know, exposed him for all these things. Jeffree Star got involved and he said he had all these receipts, which he didn't end up releasing. And James Charles ended up coming back and clearing up, you know, a bunch of the air and showed re receipts and all that. Now, during this process, a bunch of people unfollowed James Charles, a bunch of people that he considered friends. Aside from that, two of his mentors, Tati Westbrook and Jeffree Star. And this is something that a lot of us are gonna have to deal with in our lives, right? Like, what do you do? What do you do when people that you considered friends just completely turn their backs on you? What do you do when people you looked at as mentors or people who were always there for you and, you know, they, they seemingly backstab you, right? Like, this is something a lot of us have to deal with. Like, I'm sure you've dealt with it before. Maybe, maybe it was something that happened in high school, but like, as adults now, like, I've had this happen at jobs and things like that, and you're like, what the heck like one situation that i remember really hurt me was i was working at this place for a long time and myself and my co-workers like we weren't just co-workers we kind of developed friendships you know what i mean and like we hung out outside of work not just like after work grab some drinks or whatever well especially because i'm sober so i don't even drink but you know we we would like get together and play like games and things like that right but when i left that job a lot of those people wanted nothing to do with me and it hurt, I get it. So this can affect us greatly and sometimes we don't even really uh, realize it, but with our trust issues moving forward, right? Like how can we trust anybody again? How can we trust if our friends wanna come back to us? How do we trust new friends or new people coming into our lives? This can also affect your relationships, right? If you've ever been cheated on, it can be hard for you to get into a new relationship because of your trust issues. So the first thing I wanna kinda of talk about is I heard this excellent story from Brene Brown. If you don't know who Brene Brown is, you better ask somebody. That woman is amazing. But it was in her book, I believe, Daring Greatly, and she was talking about you know trust issues and she is a, uh, a scientist and she like does studies around like vulnerability and shame and everything. And she was talking about vulnerability and trusting people. And she, like, I love me some analogies, and she had a great analogy for her daughter. So anyways, just to kind of summarize this story, her daughter um, felt betrayed by one of her friends, and her daughter's like, grade school, right? And anyways, she felt betrayed by one of her friends, and her daughter didn't really trust anybody. Well, in her classroom, they had these things of, like, marbles, right? Where when the class did something good, they put marbles in the, you know, little jar, and then when the jar filled up, they got, like, a prize or a pizza party or something like that, right? Well, anyways, what Brene Brown explained to her daughter is trust is kind of like that jar of marbles, okay? And that's how we need to treat our relationships. When somebody does something trustworthy, we put a little bit more of the marbles into that jar, right? And the more they do, the more we put into that jar and everything like that. And I love that analogy because I feel that is how I overcame my trust issues. I used to have walls up with so many people because I've been hurt so many times in the past. 
So what I've had to start doing, and something that might help you as well if you feel like James Charles and getting betrayed by friends, is just gradually starting to trust people a little bit more, right? Like, don't ex expect them to hold your deepest, darkest secrets, right? And there's a whole nether video I did a while back about oversharing, but you trust them a little bit. You trust them a little bit. See how they do with that information or just simply holding space for you, right? Like you get vulnerable with them about something that you dealt with, maybe at work or school or whatever it is. See how they handle that. And then that, that gives you a little bit more knowledge and wisdom for the next time you wanna to turn to that person and see if they are trustworthy, all right? So gradually fill up that jar with marbles. Now, the next thing, like to be honest, like I got the idea for this video back when James Charles went to, I can't remember, was it Kylie Jenner's launch or was it Kendall Jenner? All those Jenners and Kardashians, I get them confused. But anyway, she went back to that. I was like, wait a, wait a tick. Like, didn't she like stop being friends with James when all this controversy happened? Now she's like inviting him back and like, there's a whole business aspect of it. But like something I wanna talk about is like, trusting old friends again, right? Like, how do we do that? And the thing is, is that we need to see that there's some kind of remorse. Okay, we need to see on their end that they are sorry for what they've done to us if they've broken our trust, right? Because, like, there's that old saying, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. You know what I mean? And, like, I, I am a huge advocate for forgiveness. Like, that is huge. Like, looking at James Charles' situation with Jeffree Star and Tati Westbrook, like, I hope sometime in the future, maybe it's gonna take years, but they can rebuild that friendship. But sometimes it takes time. Like, something that I try to teach everybody is that we need to pull away from that black and white thinking. Like, all of us screw up. Like, sometimes we might be the person who betrays a friend's trust, and we need to be empathetic to that. Like, would we want somebody to never Ever trust us again just because we messed up you know what i mean now when it comes to james charles and jeffrey star Tati westbrook this is on like a massive scale but in your personal life right like we need to work on forgiving people but when people come back into our lives we also need to sometimes treat it with a little bit of caution not give them too much too soon like they need to rebuild and earn that trust but like something that I had to do as I grew up and as I was working on my mental health is start rebuilding relationships with people because I used to be the type of person with so many trust issues, like it could be one of my best friends and if they screwed me over, I just cut them out of my life. It's so easy for us to forget all the times they have been there for us, all the things they have done for us, right? And something happens and we just completely cut them out. So over time, once we have our time to work through things and heal and all of that, like we need to work on, you know, at least attempting to rebuild that relationship if it was an important relationship to us. The other thing that we need to work on is when our trust has been violated by people in our lives, we need to be very mindful of how that affects our new, our new relationships, right? Like, I used to do this all the time. I've worked with countless people who do this as well, where they bring the baggage from a previous relationship into a new one, whether it's a friendship, whether it's an intimate relationship, right? Like, maybe your ex-boyfriend, or maybe your ex-girlfriend, or ex-husband, or ex-wife, whoever it is, maybe they hurt you, maybe they violated that trust, and now there's built up this wall. And then you bring that into a new relationship, and you don't trust the new person. And something that I've had to do to really overcome that is ask myself like is that fair is it fair to this new person in my life to punish them for what somebody else did right we see this all the time with relationships where somebody has a bad relationship right and they take that baggage from the bad relationship and bring it into the new one and it completely destroys their new relationship right so then they break up now they have baggage from two relationships they bring that into the next one you see what i mean and like just the the golden rule the golden rule is would I want somebody to do that to me? Like, would I want my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, to bring in baggage against me from an old relationship, right? Would you want your new significant other to do that to you? Would you want a new friend to bring in that against you? You see what I mean? So if this is something that you like really struggle with, like you need to get your butt in therapy and start working through that stuff. If not, it's gonna continue to destroy our relationships moving forward for the rest of our lives. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about, the last thing I wanna talk about, like none of us deserve to be betrayed or hurt or anything like that, but, but we do need to take some responsibility for this, all right? We need to realize that we are in control of these situations in some way, all right? And what I mean by that is, be mindful of who you're hanging out with. Be mindful of who you're becoming friends with, right? Like, 
Think about it. If you're hanging out with people who are constantly talking behind other people's backs, like what do you think they're doing with you? You see what I mean? Like sometimes we like, oh, I like hanging out with this person. They're so wild and crazy. You know what I mean? But like we need to pick better friends sometimes. Sometimes when we're getting into a new friendship, we need to be like, okay, maybe this person isn't who I should be hanging out with. Yeah, sure, they're fun, they're crazy, they're wacky, right? But is this somebody who I wanna trust? Now, don't get me wrong, those people are cool to hang out with every now and then. Maybe if you wanna go you know, to a party or do a concert or whatever it is, right? But do you want that person as like your best friend who's gonna hold like your secrets and everything like that? Like we need to do a better job with that because something that I had to learn was like, I was hanging around with scummy people, right? Like I was picking scummy people to be my friends. And then when they like hurt me or when they betrayed me, I was just absolutely baffled by this, right? So something that I started to do was I started to be, you know, better at picking friends. I was more mindful of who I was hanging out with. Like, and this comes from being a better judge of character. Like, what characteristics do you want in a friend or in a significant other? Like, think about that. Like, sometimes it's helpful to write down a list. Like, what do you want in a good friend? You see what I mean? Because now, like, to be honest, I don't have that many close friends anymore. Like, I have a lot of acquaintances, I have a lot of people I talk to, but like it takes a lot to like truly have a friendship with me because I've become better at picking who I'm hanging out with, all right? But anyways, let me know down in the comments below, like do you struggle with trust issues? What have you done? Like what tips can you give to other people who struggle with trust issues? Let me know down in the comments below, all right? And don't forget, follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul because I'm launching my new book, Rewire Your Anxiety, coming very, very soon, all right? But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to support what I'm doing here, become a patron and get access to all sorts of cool stuff, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.